Time we're going to put the answers to the Gesundheit. During, do you all know what Gesundheit means? It doesn't mean bless you, it means health. It means health. And they don't say it that much in Germany. Some people do. But we say it a lot in Minnesota, Gesundheit, when people sneeze. And in Georgian, it's Jan Merteloba. Do you want to try that? Jan Merteloba. That means health as well. And they, they have three different things that they say when people sneeze. When you sneeze the first time, it's John Merteloba. The second time, it's a different thing. The third time, it's a, it's a different thing. I remember the second one. I don't remember the third one. But anyway, uh, so maybe if you remember that, you can tell people Gesundheit in Georgian when they sneeze. Um, we're going to assign people to put the IPA on the board, IPA for the Mandarin exercise. And I think we will just, we'll just pick some people now. Each person take eight characters. Okay? So, sorry, Sherry, you're at the beginning again. <laughs> so, the first eight, second eight, third eight, uh, fifth eight, sixth eight, seventh eight, eighth eight, ninth eight, tenth eight, that brings us to 80, and you get three more. <laughs> you get the prize. All right. Put that up during break and put them in order, please, in sequence, okay? We'll check that second hour. All right, everybody, please quiet. We're starting. Uh, the second thing is I've got some homework to give back to you. Pass that back. And it's in order, so it should be easy to find yours. And you'll notice that in your homework, the TAs, made some notes. A lot of you did not answer all the questions. For example, we asked about the neutral tone system of Minayu. Some of you gave really good answers. I'll mention some of you just because you did so well. Lindsay, Sabina, Alice Wen, Joy Wu, Stanley, Miranda, you all gave pretty good answers for the Minayu Qingsheng de Wen Ti. The rest of you, some of you, I didn't mention all of you, um, the rest of you, you can find the information online, and if you don't know where to find it online, you can ask one of the people whose name I just mentioned. Okay? So you should have been able to find that. Now I realize that that was actually a multiple assignment because a lot of, a lot of you didn't know about the tone system of Minayu. And if you don't know about the tone system, it's hard to get information about the neutral tone system, right? You have to know, uh, give me feedback as I talk, please. A lot of you didn't know about the tone system. You told me before in a previous class, is that right? Yeah, so that means you had to learn the tone system, and then on top of it, learn the neutral tone system. But you're all Taiwanese, right? All of you. I'm the only one who is not. So all of you, and I know it. Yeah. So all of you are Taiwanese. It's something you really should know. Even if you don't speak Minayu, you still should know it. And you know, because you're a phonetic student, you're a Wai Wenxi student, you know, you're a Dashia student. Mm -hmm. So you should know this stuff. Um, if you didn't get it this time, please put it in your notes for next time, because we still have notes for this week. You need to hand in last day of class, January 2nd. We have class on January 2nd, right? So please try to answer all the questions you missed this time. One of them was about Minayu tone system, neutral tone system. Oh, don't write it on your hand, please. Put it on paper. <laughs> it's really not good for your hand. There's dusu and in ink. That was one of the questions. Another one was, is Mandarin a stress timed or a syllable timed system? And we had different ideas that the, actually people have not really come out with a conclusive answer. This is still being studied and people are still arguing about it. But I will give you a, a few thoughts just for your reference. The biggest thing to consider is that do you speak the same when you're just talking to your friend as you do when you're reading a newspaper out loud? No. When you're reading a newspaper out loud, what's going to happen to your speech? Think a minute. Which one is wordier? Which one is wordier? Between your conversations, your casual conversations, and then a more a formal kind of newspaper article. 
not really Bagua, okay? A little more formal, like international news. What will be, which one will be wordier? Do you know what I mean by wordier? What do I mean by wordier? Yeah, a lot of words that don't have a, don't, that don't contribute a lot of information, right? Which one has more emptier words? Conversation, right? Because you add all kinds of noises and all kinds of size and, well, not even those. I mean, just speaking, we tend to tell stories in a more relaxed and wordier way when we're just conversing, but when we have to address other people, we're afraid of losing their interest. And for newspaper, also, it needs to be in a written style. Writing, and plus, for publication, it's going to be a little more non -so. So, are you going to sound the same when speaking in your wordy or conversational style as you sound when you're reading from the newspaper? Will it sound the same? No, because the wordier you get, what happens? What happens to your rhythm? The wordier you get, what happens to your rhythm? I will just give you a really quick example. When you're and when you're speaking, what's the difference? The rhythm is really different. How is it different? You speak faster because the information value is going down, because a lot of words are not carrying much information. And when the information value goes down, are you going to pronounce it slowly and clearly? No. It's going to get a bit reduced, although you don't have a qingsheng so much like in Beijing. But you still reduce it, and you're going to make it shorter. I will give you one example, sort of what I mean. And I thought of this yesterday. If you have been to NTU Phonetics on Facebook, you've already seen the example. And this also relates to what we were talking about in this chapter about speed, speedy, speedily. What happens? What's that an example of? What's that an example of? That's what we're just going to look at in the exercises we're going to mark. Speed, speedy, speedily. Vowel length, right. When is the vowel the longest? In a single syllable word, right? A monosyllabic word. And it gets shorter in a disyllabic word. And then with more than two syllables, it gets even shorter. Do you think you have that in Chinese? It doesn't have to be words. We can use phrases. But words are OK, too. Do you think you do that in Chinese? Or do you think they're all about equal length? One really, really important thing for you to do in your education is to make connections. A lot of times, the things that you learn in a textbook, they're just dry facts. You eat them up, and then you spit them out again for a test. Isn't that the way it often works in, in classes, in your, in your entire career of going to school? Very often, you learn dry facts, and you spit them back out on the test. Is that right? Does that happen? Has that happened to you before? Is there anybody who that has not happened to? So very often, we just have dry facts. We, we keep them temporarily. We don't really digest them. We just kind of eat them up. And then we spit them out again for the test. And we don't understand them deeply. We haven't made connections to other things. And we haven't learned how to apply them to our own experience. That is the one thing I hope that you can get out of this class that maybe you didn't get out of all other classes. Of course, in the Y1C, it should be better now. Other classes, especially liter literature classes, they want you to think. Related to your own experience, write essays and things. That should help. But in a lot of classes, and I'm sure in a system like Taiwan's, you often are just storing them temporarily and spitting them out again. 
So one thing I really, really want you all to work on is applying it to your own experience and con making connections with other things. Applying means when we learn rules, you actually speak English using those rules. For example, compound stress. That's not a bunch of dead rules. Those are rules that will help you change the way you speak English. Is that right? Uh, I need feedback, folks. Yes, please, get in the habit of giving feedback. I'm not the only teacher who wants it. Even your Taiwanese teachers want it, too. Because otherwise, we don't know if you understood us or if you're just thinking, That's what you're thinking. If that's what you're thinking, let them know. So the things that we are learning are things that can actually change the way you speak English. That's applying. That's application. You guys should be taking notes. This is something very important. I keep telling you that. Well, they are important. So learning should be applied. And unless you're able to apply it, it's just dead facts. They're just going to sit there and nothing's going to happen to them. They won't really benefit you. You're just going to have more weight to carry around in your brain, extra stuff that you've memorized. But you learn how to apply them. If you apply them, for example, in a sentence where you pause, 五个该 pause 的地方, continuation rise. All of that stuff is to be applied. You need to apply it when you're listening and especially when you're speaking. That's applying. But making connections, that means learning about the way we do things in English and applying it to Chinese, Mandarin, and Taiwanese, whatever languages you know. That's making connections. So theory is one thing. You need to learn how to apply it for it to be useful and then make connections. Theory, application, make connections. The Sangha Dongxi, these belong in your notes, everybody. The Sangha Dongxi, you can find in your notes. I'm not just speaking to you, but you've heard it, there's no meaning of it. It's really important, especially in this class. This is a really practical class. We learned some theory, but we're not doing phonology, we're doing phonetics. So it's really very, very much an applied um, area of study. So in Chinese, when you get wordier, do you think that something similar happens? We're bringing together now the, the two things that I was just talking about. Speed, speedy, speedily. My question was, do you think this happens in Chinese? And I just asked you a question a minute ago. When you're speaking with your friends casually and then when you're reading a newspaper, we find there's a difference in style. Can you bring some of these ideas together and then come up with something? Um, Sophie, can you do me a favor? I just want you to write something on the board. Where's, okay, I guess the others are busy. Right. From yesterday. And then Yeah. All right, we're going to put the two sentences on the board that I posted on Facebook yesterday and NTU Phonetics. And I already gave the answer pretty much if you followed it. They're in the nine comments. And finally, the person who answered, who's a former NTU student now in the US, he said the opposite of what I expected. And I was surprised. All right. Everybody see what I'm getting at with these two phrases? This lingan came from an Ivy listener. Karen on Ivy, The reason I wanted Sophie to write them, well, because I didn't want to write them, and I'm, I'm busy and my writing isn't so beautiful, but it's because I didn't want to say them. Because if I say them, I will prejudice your answer. I want you to give your answer as a native speaker and not be influenced by my foreigner's Chinese. All right, how about, can you try it together? Good, now. Oh, you saw the good Yeah. There we go. All right, one more time. Let's try it again. All right, one more thing. Right. Yeah. There we go. All right, now we've got the whole thing. One more time. All right, what's the point? Let's just compare a couple of words. This mo and this mo. Amy, you think no. 
How about the rest of you? And you can also compare shi and shi and shi and shi. However, we have to say this one will probably be longer no matter what because it's the. Everybody, it's the same as in English. It'll be the same in any language, I'm sure. This probably will be longer no matter what because it's the. Huh? What? Don't be afraid. Just say what you said. I didn't hear it. Because what? Don't be afraid. Just because I reacted. I just heard something I thought was not right, but doesn't mean everybody's wrong. Jerome, please. You're, you're brave. Yes. It's the final syllable in the phrase. The final syllable will generally be longer, no matter what. So comparing this and this, we can be pretty sure this will be longer. That's for a different reason. But we can compare this mo with this mo, and this shi with this shi. What do you think is happening? Because? All right, so this is an example. When you see in Latifoga's textbook that speed, speedy, speedily, ah, you see how speed is the most common English It's just English, right? Is it just English? No, it's probably universal. It's probably some kind of universal. I don't want to call it that, but I, if it's, even if it's not universal, I'm sure it's extremely common. Let's analyze the, the reason for it. I know we have a lot of stuff to do, but I think this is really, really worth thinking about. And I want you to do more thinking, because if you come up with some answers, you will remember them better. You'll feel pride because you got it yourself, and you'll remember it better. So this is, Jerome is suggesting that these are probably going to be shorter, just because we have more syllables. Is that the only reason? For example, san nin zu wi wan sui. That's pretty long. That's a lot of syllables. But do we say it really fast? No, probably not. There you go. You got it, Jamie. Good. You got it. Information value, that's the key. Information value is the key. Very good. Which of these two has a higher per syllable information value? The first one or the second one? Just nobody shout it out now, just think a minute. Which one has a higher per syllable information value? One or two? One. Because what happens in two? Let's put numbers by them, so make it explicit. What happens in two? Tell me some characters that don't have much meaning. Right? So this one, Sophie already gave that away because she felt I didn't even have to add it. What else? Jian doesn't have too much information, does it? What else? Qing. The. All of those are redundant, aren't they? We can do without all of those. They're redundant because they're repeating information we already have. Or they're giving us slightly additional information that's not very important. It's more like additional uh, kind of formal information, structural information. So we end up, after we've marked all of, these, all of these redundant words, what do we end up with? Right? It's what we started out with in the first sentence. Yeah? So why do we, I think we don't use the first word. We don't say to, we don't say to. We will still, um, we will still just remain the words, but that is shorter, but we don't say I know. I'm taking this actually from a Facebook post. If you want to see it, go to Karen on Ivy. And I just copied what she wrote. This is a native speaker. When she was saying, she was talking about 剪刀石头布, 她是说, 
做某事时，我们用剪刀石头布来决定谁来开始之类的。That's what she said, and this this is her sentence. 所以真的是有 native speaker 写的。And she used a more abbreviated style because she was writing. 因为她在打，这是 written style。讲话比较不会。I didn't say that one was that they were both speaking style. The first one is not speaking style. The first one's written style. That's where I got it. You can all accept that, right? It's not really speaking style, but that goes back to the example that I gave you. If you're just chatting with your friend, or if you're reading from the newspaper, right? You have two very different styles. So this one has a much higher per syllable information value. And if you read my post in Facebook yesterday, I actually did a measurement. This actually has about the same length. The whole utterance, as I remember, 我没有记错的话 This is 1.3 seconds. About this one's about 1.5 seconds. So this one's only slightly longer than this one. I'm not a native speaker, so these are only for reference. You can try it yourself, and you can use plot and you can measure, measure the length of the whole thing, and then listen to each syllable, mark them, and then it will tell you how long it is. This zuo and this zuo are about the same length, but you see, we didn't we didn't have any additional information here. We didn't add an extra syllable rather here, right? Uh, we didn't say 制作 for example, 制作 or 做成 or something like that. 做 didn't change, so in fact, its length didn't change either in my two utterances. But 某一件事情，某事 one, two, three, four, five, five syllables. Originally, we expressed it in just two syllables. If you say everything really slowly and clearly, and remember the person who posted, 他还以为。第二句的时候，每个 syllable 比较长。If any of you read the post, 美国的一个研究生 ，so he's going to have to give me his data to prove that. <laughs> Because, right, 某事某一件事情 ，if you say it too slowly, 做某一件事情的时候 ，how do you feel when I say it that slowly? Do you like it better 做某一件事情的时候 ，or do you like 做某一件事情的时候？ The second time, what does it sound like, Jerome? You're putting some emphasis on both. Because maybe you were thinking it was two, 某某两件 but it's really only one. 某一件，其中某一件 It sounds like I'm emphasizing it for some reason. Normally, if you emphasize it that much, it doesn't sound natural. Is that right? So. The point of this is what I was saying. You got theory, learn to apply it, and learn to make connections. So for speed, speedy, speedily, this is kind of an illustration of how it works in Chinese. It's the same thing. As the information value goes down, the, the number of syllables is going up. Speedily, of course, we know that it is now what part of speech? Speed is what part of speech? Part of speech means 子类 It's a noun, right? Speedy is a, an adjective, and then speedily is an adverb, right? However, going from speed to speedily, do we have a lot of new information in speedily as compared to speed? We have one piece of new information, which is part of speech. It's part of speech. 只有子类 and is that? Lexical meaning, or is that structure? It's structure. And in Chinese, 一件 is this really lexical meaning, or is it structure? Especially 件 That's structure. That's not really lexical meaning. This is just the classifier that usually goes with 事情它通常会带这个量词 This is structure. This is not really lexical. So, do you see a similarity here? We can add more syllables, but if the information value is not going up, what are, how are we going to compensate when we're speaking? We're going to well, change the length of the syllables and the speed of the utterance. And there's a very interesting study now about how many pieces of information per second languages have. In a language like Spanish, It sounds much faster in Japanese as well. In this study, they found that people do speak Spanish and Japanese 
faster than English, and in English we speak faster than in Mandarin. Mandarin was a slower language. Why? This is something really valuable to think about. Anybody who wants to do anything with language in the future, this will be useful knowledge to you. Something you can use to actually think up all kinds of research projects. Mandarin was one of the slower languages. Now don't feel insulted. Don't think it's because your brains are slow. It's not. Don't feel insulted. It's saying something about your language, though. What's it saying about your language? Go ahead. That's right. More information content per syllable. And that is really true. You cannot deny that. And that's one of the things that I love so much about Chinese. Is everything is so tidy. That also represents not only its size in writing, but its information value. They're not exactly the same, but the information value per syllable in Chinese is much higher on average. Then for a language like Spanish or Japanese. Spanish and Japanese were spoken the quickest because they have many, many what? Structural syllables, many tsue, right? Both of them have a lot of, a lot of structural syllables added on towards the end of the word. This is really, it's quite cutting edge. This is rather new. I've thought about this myself for years, and when somebody finally wrote this article, I was so glad I have something I can quote now, I can cite. Okay? So this is a really good illustration. If anybody ever asks you about this, this was a great example. And I have to thank my Ivy listener who came up with this. Sometimes Ivy listener, a lot of my time at home, I'm answering questions for free to Ivy listeners. But I get a lot in return. You know, a lot, of, a lot of data and a lot of insight and a lot of inspiration. So anyway, that's that. Um, that was about, I was talking about which, which assignments we have not, uh, I have not received from you in your notes. So we asked about Mandarin being a stress time or syllable time language. This, coming back to this question, what's the answer based on what we've covered so far, what we've talked about so far? What would your answer be? Somebody besides Jerome, Jerome has been giving a lot of answers. Anybody? Now, would, well, how would you answer this question? Is Mandarin a more stress time language or a more syllable time language? Although Mandarin doesn't, strictly speaking, have stress the way English does. Don't be too simplistic and don't be, don't be misled by the question. I actually gave the, the, the answer, my personal answer, a little earlier. It depends on the style. It depends on the style. If it's a written style, it's going to be more what? More syllable time because your already high information value per syllable will go up even higher. So the information value of each syllable goes up higher the more syllables you get rid of. And I just want to be and mention something that I learned from a very good workshop held by Tai Da. It was about So I went, and I did okay at this workshop, I think. That was his whole point. Do we want it wordy or do we want it high information and to the point? Therefore, right. The whole workshop basically was about getting rid of everything that was not absolutely necessary. That was the point of the workshop. It was a really, really good workshop. 他自己好像叫做什么, I forgot his name right now. I'll think of it later. But it was a really, really good workshop. 
So getting rid of everything that you don't absolutely need, you're going to have something that is more what timed? Syllable timed. And the more chenzi you put in there, the more redundant information, the more it sounds like a what kind of language? Stress time language. So tang shi is what? Very definitely syllable time because often, and there's also a kind of art that I mentioned sometimes. It's called Shu Lai Bao. I have I happen to memor have memorized one sentence from Shu Lai Bao. And I'll clap to show you. I want you to pick out the unstressed syllables that are contributing to the rhythm. It goes like this. What did you hear? Is that stress or syllable time? Stress, because what were the unstressed syllables that were giving it a stress timed rhythm? Zuka doesn't have much information. And what else? Okay? Those have more content per word. But that's an example of stress time Chinese is lai bao. And many kinds of conversation. Newspaper news reading. We're getting more towards syllable time. Tang shi. Then we're all the way to syllable timing. Okay? So I hope this was useful. That was my personal answer for that question. Maybe. Um, that will give you more to think about. But please answer it in your notes if you didn't answer it the first time. Another thing I want to mention is clitic, C-L-I-T-I-C. In Chinese, I didn't give you the Chinese. It's fu zhuo yu su. Fu, just fu zai shang mian de fu. Zhuo si zhe, zuo zhe de zhe. Yu yan de yu, su cai de su. Jiao zuo fu zhuo yu su. That's clitic in Chinese. Some of you did not summarize the phonotactics page two syllable structure. Put it in your notes for next time. Anything that you missed, the TAs have given you notes in red about what you were missing. Make sure you make it up in your new set of notes. And those are to be handed in on January 2nd. And that's your last set of notes for the semester. Um, I think that's it. We're going to quickly go over as quickly as we can. The vowel allophone rules, uh, no, sorry, the exercises for chapter four. Now, these things take a bit of time and a bit of looking. Let's just go around the room. Um, who was the last person? You were the last person to be assigned, so you can start. Um, for exercise A on page 102, give your examples for E. Page 102. Uh, I have sister. Uh -huh. and thesis. Sister and thesis? But we don't have E and sister. So the example is you need the vowel E when it's stressed and when it's reduced. Because the yang is E. It should be the same word. Did you understand that part or not? So, for example, the first one is secrete. Secrete is a fen mi. Nei fen mi, the nigga fen mi. Secrete. The second one is secretive. So, secrete, nigga e, is a full vowel, secrete. But in secretive, nigga secrete, xian zai bian zeng ge shua. Secretive. Is that right? So you didn't understand the exercise? Uh, I do, but... Or did I miss something? So sister uh, doesn't contain it. There, there's no E in sister. Oh. That's it. Right? That's the vowel E. This is IPA. It's not spelling. Oh, I see. OK. All right, I will accept that. OK. I was just thinking you would do another one for E. Uh, uh, All right. So you didn't do one for E. All right, then let's go to it. Uh, 
I have sister and thesis. All right, but we try to have words that relate to each other. It's better. Does anybody have words that relate, just like secrete and secretive? Yo me Okay, limit. Limitation. Lim limit. Limitation is a full vowel. It's unstressed, but it's a full vowel, but it was a nice idea. And at least they have a connection. Okay? So it says, illustrating the relationship between the words in the second and fourth columns. Let's look at the, let's look at the table. Right? So, yeah, may yo, not all of them. Some of them are. Cause, causality, yo. I was expecting more, like con confront, confrontation. I guess they don't do it on all of them. They have hoodwink neighborhood. That's true. Um, okay, so sisterly and basis. Uh huh. Okay, I guess I will accept it. I was expecting something different, and that's why I made a big deal of it. Um, sisterly basis. Um, all right, let's go on. Let's, does somebody else have one for ear, though, that we can try? Another one, anybody? Alice, what did you have? What did you have? Insipid. Uh huh. Insipidity. Oh, insipid, insipidity. That one works. Insipid, insipid. So wu wei, dan er wu wei. Insipid, insipidity. That works. That's good. That's more of what I was expecting. But I guess when I look at the table now, um, I guess he allows other things. All right, let's go on to A. Alice? Mm, agency. Again? Uh, agency. Uh huh. Announce. Agency. Announce. That's good enough. Let's go on. Head, headache. Accent. Accent. I, accent. Accent. I don't say accent, I say accent. Accent. A C C E N T. I say accent. He has an accent. He has an accent. Accent sounds British. He has an accent. He has an accent. I have an e, right? A foreign accent. Foreign accent. Foreign accent. Sorry. Absent. Absent is okay. In absentia. In absentia. You tell me good to sliding one. In absentia. Absent, that would work. All right, let's go on. A? Accent. He has an accent, a foreign accent. I don't know myself now. I think it's a full vowel, but it may sometimes be a schwa. Let's go on. Acid. Mm -hmm. Acidic. That's a good one. Acid, acidic. That's a good one. How about for a? And they say a or o, because in British, the o, it's written as o like in pot, pot in American, it's a. So for American, it's ah. Uh, pronounce, pronunciation. For ah, pronounce. Where's the ah? That's ow. Woman ah, how many? We had, gang gang a, who did a? After a is ah, right? Uh, come, come, come. Spell? C O M E. C O E, C O M E, come. But it has only one syllable. <laughs> and it's not, it's not ah anyway. Come is which vowel? It's dao v. Yeah. Can somebody help up with help out with ah? She doesn't seem to be ready with ah. Okay, Jerome. Biography and huh. biographical. Very good. Biography, biographical. That's a good one. Biography. Anybody have something else for ah? Phonology. Phonological. All right. Phonology. Phonological. There are lots of examples with the ologies. All right. Let's try O. Oh, you have something for O? Oh? oh, wait. Gang gang wait. Do you have something for O? Oh? Note. Note and, but note is only one syllable. We need more than one syllable, right? Otherwise, we don't know which syllable is stressed. With one syllable, uh, annotate. An annotate. Annotate and note. Okay, I see what you're saying. Note, annotate. 
It should have more than one syllable, but I'll accept that. That's how it works. Okay, let's go on to I. Combine and combination. That's good. Combine, combination. Combine, combination. We could find a lot more examples, but I don't want to spend that much time on this. This is how it works. You should be able to lay tway. All right, B, who had a really fun sentence that used at least eight vowels or more? Mm -hmm. Mary wants to bake apple pies or make or orange juice for her kids. Oh, that's nice. Mary wants to bake an apple pie or make orange juice for her kids. I think I put an extra word in there, but that's a really good one. It makes sense. I wrote a sentence that makes no sense. <laughs> okay, very good. So Mary wants to bake an apple pie and make orange juice for her kids. That's good. All right, Stanley. Transcribe, we're going to have to put that on the board. Yeah, we'll have to put that on the board. Let's skip over that. D1. So we need people to put C1 on the board. Okay, C1. American. C1 British. Two American, two British. Three American, three British. Okay, during break, during break. All right, so Stanley. You'll win, Hima. Okay, Stanley. Uh, three examples for rule one. So we want an open syllable, a syllable that ends with a voiceless stop, and one that ends with a voice stop. Or open, voiced, voiceless would be a better order. Oh, so. So open, voiced, and voiceless. Stop at the end. Mm, pots. Mm hmm. And uh, pad. And uh, hey, huh? we want the same vowel, open syllable. We can't have ah in an open syllable oh. normally. Well, we have pa. That's a problematic one. Pa, actually, it would work. P A, pa, it's possible. Baba. Ba. So I'll accept that. Pa. Pa. E. Pa, and then. Pa. Pod. Pod. And. Pot. Pot. That works. Pot. Pa, pod, pot. pot. We don't have many syllables that end with ah written with A in English. Pa is one of them. And that's also Han uh, Kou Do you have another set? Uh, That'll do. We start with open syllable first. Paid. Pay. Paid. 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 And then? Paid. 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 All right, that'll do. Let's go on to the next one. I have me, need, neat. Ray, raid, rate, sue, sued, suit. Those are my examples. Go on, two. Dessert and desert. Very good. Dessert and desert. That's a good one. Anything else? Research, research. That's good. Actually, a lot of those noun verb pairs will work. I have decrease, decrease. Decrease is the noun. Produce, produce. Noun and verb. Record, record. Contract, contract. There are lots and lots of words like this. That's an easy source of them. That's good enough. Let's go on to three. Uh, greed, greedy, greedily. All right. Similar to speed, speedy, speedily, just change the first sound. You get a lot of words that way. I have need, needy, neediness, or need, needless, neediness. What else? Mood, moody, moodily. Mood, moody, moody moodily? moodily. Yeah. Okay, moodily is not so common, but it's okay. That's good enough. I also have fate, fated or fateful, and fatefully. And hope, hopeless, hopelessly. Let's go on. Four. Tomorrow, today, tonight, coherence. Okay, tomorrow, today, coherence. Coherence, 我比较不会, being voiceless, coherence. 比较不会, and I think, what do you think the reason is for that? There's two reasons, huh? The first spell, you just, you don't it's not reduced. In coherence, it's a full vowel O. Oh. In addition, so that might be, have an effect too, but it's a full vowel. So coherence is not good. But today and tomorrow are very good. I have also together, similar. Capacity, career. And I said, but I have telicity. Telicity is a very good word. Do you remember? 
Actually, it should be telic. I should, I should correct it now. I kept forgetting if it's telic or telic. I looked it up. It's telic. Telic makes the sound clearer, more xiang liang, but it's telic and telicity. Okay, capacity, together, career. Okay, let's go on. Number five. Kind. kind okay. Kind, men, son. Okay. Lonely. Lonely. All of those have ends at, or a nasal at the end of the syllable. They're good enough, right? It doesn't say you couldn't have a consonant after the end, so kind is fine. Go on. Number six. Six. Banal, pale. Louder? Uh, banal, pale. Banal. Let's go back to six. It says vowels are retracted before syllable final L. Those are, those are correct, but they wanted a contrasting pair of words. So it might be good to show a clear L compared to a dark L. I had lab and ball. Lab and ball. Let and tell. Okay? They didn't make it really clear, but they, they do have final dark L's, so that part is correct. So not a big deal. All right, E, did this take you a lot of time? Just read through your list very, very fast. So words, monosyllables ending with P that have the vowel E. Sleep, deep, heap, sheep, leap, beep, cheap, keep. How about weep, reap, bleep? Bleep. We bleeped it out. We bleeped it out. Peep, yo ma? Yo, okay. Seep, yo ma? S E E P, seep. It's hard to check each word. I'll just read my list. Okay? Bleep, beep, peep. Deep, leap, keep, heap, jeep, cheap, sheep, seep, weep, ku, reap, shogu, and veep. That's short for vice president. Veep, V E E P. Okay. I? Uh, tip, shrimp. Tip, what else? Ship? Dip, hip. Any more? No. Okay, Yoren Shao. This one there's a lot of words. I have blip, flip, drip, trip, grip, bip, pip, dip, tip, lip, nip, kip, jip, chip, ship, sip, whip, zip, yip, rip, hip, strip. You missed some, hey? Did you miss some? Okay, all of those end in spelling with IP. You can find them all on one look. But that's not how I got them. I just went through the alphabet. I just made a list of all of the initial consonants and blends and the clusters, and then I tried ip on them, and I found a lot for that one. Let's go to e. Oh, a, I'm sorry, you're right. Tape, ape, grape. Tape, ape, grape. Actually, I forgot ape, okay? Tape, ape, grape. Any more? P, nigga, um, p -fong. Cape, not cap. Cape. What else? Xing Zhuang. Shape. Uh huh. Chang Jian. Uh huh. Zhu Zhang Kai. Fa Dai. Gape. Gape. And also, nape. Now, I told you the word pate, right? There's also nape. This is the nape of your neck. Zhe ge di fang. That's the nape, N A P E, nape of your neck. Bo zi zhe ge di fang jiao nape. What's that? You tell me. This place is very is the nape. Sometimes we have a very specialized word. Nape is specialized. If you have a dictionary, you can check it. All right, next, after A, now we're to E. Okay? Step, pep, prep, rep. That's all? How about crep, hep, strep? Short for streptococcus, just a whole long and strep. Prep is short for preparation. Yep. Yep. Schlep. S C H L E P P. This is Yotai Yu. So the one schlep is to Magadongshi. So a lot of you schlep a very heavy book bag around every day. Is that right? You all schlep a very heavy book bag. This is Wai Lai Yu. But we actually use it in America, especially. So I had a couple more. Let's go on to a. Uh, cap, cap, map, chap. 
Any more? Uh, no. That's it? You guys could have worked harder. What? What do you have? More. Read them? Map, map, tap, crap, tap, tap, zap, yap, yap, zap. Very good. That's most of them. I have a few more. I'll just read them. I can't remember which ones you already said. So, pap, flap, tap, trap, nap, lap, gap, cap, crap, clap, rap, sap, slap, strap, zap, yap, chap, jap. Jap is short for Japanese. Not a very nice word. Okay. We used it, not we, I wasn't born yet, in the Second World War. So, whip the Japs, you know, beat the Japs, negashaho jo Japs. Okay, there are a lot of words with ap you guys missed. Let's go on, next. After as, a. Hop. Louder? Hop. Hop, good, keep going. Um, flop. Sorry? Flop. Spell? F-L-O-P. F-L-O-P. Flop, good. You're going to have to talk louder. Is the microphone not working? Pop, flop, pop. That's all? Didn't I tell you? Yali a jin, yali a wan. Do you remember? I told you be exhaustive. You all remember? Tobi a jiao dai. Okay. Very good. Mop, what else? Top. Excellent. More? Very good. Okay, Amy's got a lot here. Maybe you didn't all hear. The ones I have are bop, bop, yes, a da de yis. Pop, plop, prop, fop. Flop, drop, top, lop, L-O-P, glop, cop, crop, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, hop, sop, slop. S-O-P, sop? Sop is like that. It's like a meal that you can use to eat the rest of the meal. A sop to, it's in the Shila culture, it's like that, it's like that. Sop and uh, slop, stop, strop, S T R O P, chop, shop, crop. Which I don't know. Okay, so that's quite a few. Let's go on for awe. Awe is going to be hard. Gulp, uh, G A W P. Right. Gulp and yop. That's right. Those are the only two. There's also op. But that's, none of those are common words, none of them. They're those are fang yan, just a han jian de zi. So you can't, 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 you I have, all right, Amy, do you have some? Mope. Mope is good. Mope is tome kulian. Tome kulian in English is mope. All right, more? That's all. All right, I have pope, dope, tope, trope, hope, lope, grope, cope, hope, rope, soap, slope. That's it. That's enough. That's a lot. All right, next. This one's also hard. Put, toot, foot. Put, but we're not, 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 that's T. We need a final P. Well, there's no answer, so you could just say there's nothing. Then you're, you're okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, ni sheng zi will always behave differently. Do you remember in the phonotactics pages? You may not have read that page. There's a, there's a page about exceptions and odd syllable types. Ni yin xiang ma? Okay, I want you to add that. That's an assignment because of this exercise. Um, it's called Exceptions and Odd Syllable Types, as I remember. Hope it won't be too hard to find here. Yep, that's the title. It's page 23. Page 23. Please put that in your notes for this week. We're adding that page in. And it's actually pretty interesting. I'm also going to assign page 24. And that's for uh, New Year's fun. Phonotactic 6 is phonotactic games. It's games. 
So play a couple of the games. Some of the links may be dead. I will try to check them again. But be careful because they, some are addictive. There was one of the games that I played every day for about three months. Okay, 有个东西我上瘾了好久才那个退瘾。So I'm warning you, some of them are, <laughs> 对。Some of them are addictive. I think it was Jumble. I used, to, I used to do Jumble in the newspaper when I was young. And then it was online. So I will check the links and update them. This, those, they die actually rather frequently. So those two pages, page what? 23, phonotactics 5, exceptions and odd syllable types. 就是有很奇怪的音节的结构 And I want to mention, what are some odd syllables in Chinese? Because I've written a paper about it that I haven't published yet. There are some syllables that are quite odd in Mandarin. And the funniest one for me as a foreigner is jiong. <laughs> That's pretty weird, isn't it? You put your jiong, this is a little bit special. Stanley, you think it's totally normal? Yes, because we have a jiong. That's right. That's right. It's used in idioms, but compared to the other syllables, jiong is a bit weird. And you also find that syllables with a very strange syllable type structure, they describe strange things. So we call that sound symbolism. This goes in your notes, sound symbolism. 声音本身就是奇怪，而且它的内涵、它的意思就是奇怪的意思。Or 尴尬 ，embarrassing， 对不对？很囧 is embarrassing， 窘境是很困难的一个情况。So, 它的比较奇怪的一个 syllable type， 往往它的意思也是奇怪、尴尬、awkward 等等的意思。And that happens a lot in English as well. Another one is 糗。糗。You don't say 糗 anymore? 好糗。哎，不流行了吗 ？Annie? Louder? Ah, it was. 流行在七十年代的时候很流行。<laughs> When I was in Taiwan as a student, 好糗。广告有些广告词有啊。啊，你的头皮屑，看到了，好糗。<laughs> 你没有看过吗？有这个广告，好糗。So please don't tell me you don't have this word. But the fact is, 你听到这个用的很少。It's true because 糗 is a strange syllable type. 除了糗，有个米字边的糗，然后一个臭，右边是个臭，一个米字边。除了那个字念糗之外 ，there is no word in Chinese pronounced 糗 ，nothing. And so why? So what happens? 这个很少用这个 syllable type， 它会拿出来，然后呢代表个很奇怪、很尴尬的一个事情的意意思。Put this in your notes. This is important. 我这个 paper 有这个 found finding. And in English, we have the same thing. There's a whole article on it. 刚好刚好这个题目 in the Economist, 经济学人就有一篇讲这个意思 Do you believe me? 真的有他讲语言学的这个东西 Okay, I will post it on NTU Phonetics. So make sure you check in. NTU Phonetics, 你要看一下经济学人的这篇文章我看的时候真的好高兴非常高兴他就呼应我那个嗯我做的那个研究 All right. So what's happening with sounds like u? 他会因为根本没有几个字能接那个 p， 可是，一有的话，它会指一个什么样的东西？你你猜 ？Some kind of sound symbols. It could be a sound. It could be onomatopoeia. 有可能是拟声字 ，or like oops. It's true. Oop. That sounds like oop bun. Gangnam Style. Okay. Um, oop oop is 啊，不小心掉了个东西 ，right? But Wu Wu, because that P, 几乎是没有什么例子。可是一有的话，它会指一个，或者是拟声字，或者一个很尴尬的一个情况。We have some other things. 有一些是 O O， 可以念 U， 也可以念 O。For example， 这个字也可以念 Goop。Goop 是黏黏滑滑的一种物质，叫 Goop。Oh, get that Goop off your fingers. 你刚刚摸了一个什么？可能是那个。贴了贴贴纸，然后呢，你又碰到那个东西，手上都是粘的，啊，一堆。That's goop, goop. You can also say goop. 比较少讲，可是有 goop, goopy, goopy. Oh, it's so goopy. 也可以，比较少，可是有
So, 一有的话，它会指一个很奇怪的东西，有一点 exaggeration, exaggeration 的东西。All right. So, this is something worth knowing. 字很少，可是它就，嗯，它就有它的角色在语言里面。All right, so that was oh, we really have nothing. And then, 下面下面是什么？是一个错，对不对 ？Should be u and then a, 分开两个不同的大母音 First u, then a. Actually, I had to think a while to figure that one out. 这是新版的一个新的错误，不是沿袭的一个旧的错误。这是新 introduced 一个错误。Okay, so what do we have with u? Whose turn? Your turn. Yeah. Um, I have. Soup, group, troop, hoop. Very good. Soup, troop, group, poop. 刚刚对 poop 本来也是一个好笑的东西。So boop, boop 比较少，也是打的意思。Um, 我找到另外一个 bloop. Bloop 是打球用的一个东西，是那个球打到那个呃外面去了 ，and. Dupe, D-U-P-E. Dupe is 骗人的意思 Droop is 垂下来 Troop, 讲过 Group, 讲过 Gloop, Gloop 跟跟那个 Goop 是一样的黏黏的一个物质 Gloop. And um, loop, L-O-O-P, 有没有一个圈圈 Loop. And Goop 讲过 That's about it. Croup, 还有一个 C R O U P， 是那个喉咙发炎、咳嗽，小孩会得的病。现在比较少用这个字。Croup， 小说会看到。Okay, now we're to a.、Uh. This was u, we're on a.、Uh. I didn't, I didn't do a、uh, because I. Oh, it was、yeah. a, it's a mistake in the book. But actually, stuff like this, 它会考验你的应变能力。All right, it's not an excuse. I made mistakes in that transcription that you used for a model, and I warned you about it. When there's mistakes in something, you will pay more attention. Okay, 是考你的应变能力 It's not an excuse, but it really does because in life, is there ever anything without mistakes? 不太可能 If there is, 那就是例外的东西 So always be ready for mistakes and be ready to smooth them over yourself. You can supply the missing information. This is quite redundant. 前面都是大母音，对不对？所以你猜后面不应该突然间冒冒冒出一个不存在的双母音，对不对 ？Okay. So what do we have for up? Cup. And up. 本身。Oh, up. Anything else?、Um, Sup. Good. What else? Anything else? Drop. We don't have drop. We don't have many for up. Cup, up, sup. I don't really have any others. Did anybody else have something? I don't. Hup. Oh, yo. Xingjun. Hup. Two. Remember when I was say it or it or in English it's hup. One becomes hup. Hup. Two, three, four. Because the next one is a 女生字 Okay. Um, I think that's all. Let's go on next. For I. Uh, I have wipe, gripe, and ripe. Very good. Pipe, type, tripe. Tripe is 那个嗯，动物的内脏，可以做成糖。Tripe, 肠子，通常是肠子。Gripe, cripe, cripe 是骂人的话。It's a euphemism for Christ. Cripe, oh cripe. 有时候说 oh crap. Okay, 其实应该是 Christ 的那个委婉语。Hype, hype 是夸大不实的话 ，H Y P E. Ripe 成熟 ，stripe 条纹 ，wipe 讲过 ，yipe 说是女生字啊，好可怕 ，yipe. Okay, 卡通会看到 ，and that's about it. All right, let's go on to ow and oi. You can do both. I didn't, I didn't find. I didn't find any either. How about、yeah. for oi? Oi. Uh, nothing. There is nothing, right? Oh, for up. 我现在才找到我的答案 Up, 就是 you 那个 a 加 p. Up, glup, 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 glup. Cup, hup, sup, yup, yup. 对 yup. And pup, 小狗 
Okay, so I missed some a minute ago. All right, so that's that. Now, considering only the vowels that cannot occur in monosyllables closed by P, which are they? Ow, oi, and can we count anything else? Uh, yeah. How about how about ah? Ah is really ,根本没办法接皮因为那几个字是太罕见了,不太算. So I think um, a, is, a is fine, but for oi and ao, u and a, actually all four of those I think, 可以算,没有办法接皮的. Okay, u只有 whoop, whoop之类的,那些不太算. So how about um, for f, what did you find? Each of them? Yeah, for B. B, pop, pop. But we don't want uh. Uh is not a problem. Uh is not a problem. U uh is more of a problem. U, uh, a, uh, ow, and oi are problems. Can any of those take B? Anybody? None of them can take B. None of them. None of the four. How about N? Mm? Can any of them take m? Mm? The only huh? huh? Poem, poem, m. That's m. The only thing I could come up with is a different pronunciation of room. I say room. Some people say room, um, room. room. Okay, that's I put in parentheses. How about for f? Anybody? I'll just ask everybody because there are not going to be too many words for these. A couple of them will have more. Okay, for F, I have just like with room. Some people say roof, the roof of the house. Roof. I say roof and roof. I say both, actually. So roof is And sorry? Cough. Cough? That's good. Cough for ah is good. Yeah, and I didn't have that. So cough. All right. And. Anything else? Let me write that down before I forget. Cough, okay. Anything else? Louder? All right, C-O-I-F, day. That was the other possible liwai zi, but what language is it from? French, and so how do we pronounce it? She's very nicely coiffed. Nicely coiffed. It should be coiffed. If you uh, don't know this word, you might say coif, but I have never ever heard coif except when I said it in this class. Okay, man. So coif actually should be quaff. So we don't have anything for F. How about for T? Okay, we have out. What else? We have a lot for out. So out, bout, doubt. Shout, route, tout. There are a lot for out, right? How about for u? Uh? We have foot. What else? Put, P U T, and? Just tan, tan hui, tan fen, delayed. 就是烧过火留在那个碳的那个粉呢? Soot, S-O-O-T, soot. We have soot. Soot, put, foot. Anything else? Some people say root for root. Root, you also can root. Yeah, and? Huh? P-U-T. Yeah, we said P-U-T, put. We had that one. Anything else? How about for um, oi? Joint? There's an N. 那个N不行. Can't use something with an N. Anything else? I don't have anything for oit. And I have only those few for u. Out, there are quite a few. And ought. Ought, how about for a? We have a lot for a. So ought, benshen. Taught, bought, brought, sought, fought, caught, 刚讲过没有? 
Okay, all of those can go with ah, ah. So ah works pretty good for a lot of these. Or ah has actually um, a lot of possible words. It's quite productive. All right, how about for n? How about u plus n, un? Do we have un? No, only in Taiwan English, mun. <laughs> Should be moon. We have it in Taiwan English. We should add that. Put a note. T-E, Taiwan English. Okay, so U doesn't work. How about A? Dawn? Dawn, what else? Fawn? Xiao Lu? Brawn? B-R-A-W-N? 就是很有肌肉,肌肉很发达的意思. Uh-huh, what else? Luan, Cao Ping, what else? Okay, Don, Jiang Guo, Li Ming. Huh? L A W N? Yuan is good. Da He Qian. Yuan, good. What else? Sean. Nan Sun, the Ming Zi Sean. What else? How about drawn? D R A W N. Drawn. And gone, G-O-N-E, he's gone, gone. Okay, so all of those have aw. Pawn, P-A-W-N, dang, dang, dong, xi, dian, dang. All right, um, that's for aw. How about for, um, how about aun? Down, gown. Town, good. Crown, clown, Mingzi. noun, Zhou Meitou. There we go. Okay, so we have a lot for aun. How about oin? Loin, join, coin, groin, G R O I N, Shu Xi Bu, if you want to know. Yeah, groin, now you know how to say it. Okay, we have quite a few for oi in this case. Mm, okay, that takes care of n. Let's hurry up and finish. We'll, we'll go up to, um, yeah, we're almost done. So let's get through this. L for u, pull, right? Do we have any others? I didn't find any others for u plus u. And how about for a? We have a lot actually, tall, call, etc. So I don't bend because I have a Tall, call, draw, ball, Paul, the name, um, brawl, B R A W L, fall, uh, sorry? Mall is good, M A L L, good, mall, doll, yang wa wa. Gall, G A L L, Gall. That's a dan. Yeah. I say doll. I say doll. Doll. Doll sounds shibu. Right. There are, there are a couple words like this where there's going to be a problem because we've got an L after the vowel and it changes the vowel. So for, for my particular idiolect, I can't speak even for all the people who live where I came from. I say doll. I don't say doll. Doll for me is something else. It's Indian. That's doll. But doll for me is yang wawa. There's going to be zheng yi because the L changes the vowel. So this one is a kind of murky case. But I say doll. I don't say doll. <laughs> Sorry. Hits me all wrong. If other people say it, it's okay, but it doesn't sound like me. Um, okay, so that's L. Any more for all? Y'all. Everybody? Hall. Ting Tang. Uh, crawl. Pa zai di shang. Lol. L O L L. That's a shuttle. Wang, wang xia chui, xiang gao, gao, gao. Lolling tongue, day. All right, so that's all. Um, how about owl? Owl, anything else? 
Towel, the only problem with towel is it's two syllables. But words like owl also sound like two syllables. So this case is really unclear. This is a really ambiguous case. Owl for me is two syllables. Tachizigan towel, yang, see your two syllables. So my words without the two syllable ones are cowl, Prowl,就是那个跑来,就是,呃,it's小偷,他那个到处在那个很轻,就是很小声的走动,is prowl. And, uh, what else do I have here? Um, foul, foul,坏掉了,the meat is foul. 有两个音节的有bowl,是肠子, dowl,是木棍, towel, trowel, trowel是一个气墙用的工具. Okay, yeah. Historically, they were probably different. For me, they have merged. For me, towel should be two syllables, but actually, I pronounce it the same as owl. Owl, towel. 对我来说,一样是两个音节. They merged. Owl, 应该是owl,就是一个音节. 可是时间久了,实际念法,其实是两个音节. 那dowel有一的话,看得出它原先真的是两个音节. Owl是因为L的关系, 它就好像有个虚的syllable跑出来了. Okay? So those are, those are really questionable cases. Um, what else do we have? How about for oil? Spoil. Spoil. Coil. Broil. Boil. Foil. What else? Royal. Royal. It's also pronounced royal. Royal. Soil. Jangguomaha. All right, so those are for oil. We have a lot for oi. Um, how about for si? What do we have with u? Uh. Anybody have one? Xiao Mommy Puss. Debidei. Kusi nigga shiga ni chung, nigga bussi bandits. Pussy, kay baniga wai, chi diao puss. Puss and boots. Hayo eager, li yu, su wuss. Wuss, su, it's very insulting. It's to call somebody a coward, call him a wuss. You know this word, Amy? How do you know it? Picked it up, okay, yeah. Wuss, it's. It's a coward. Okay, I was going to use a bad Chinese word, but everybody's shocked when I say it, so I won't say it. Okay, so wuss and puss, those are the only ones I have. Um, how about for aw? How about for aw? Sauce? What else? Sauce, anything else? I don't have much else. What's this sauce? Okay. Um, how about for ow? House. Keep going. Laos. Shizi. Jizi. Toshi. Nega. Nega. Laos. Grouse. Yi zong niao. Blouse. Nu chen shan. Douse. Si nega guan shui. To douse out a fire. Pu mie. Yong shui. Chi pu mie neng aga. And what else? How about for oi? Voice, good. What else? Choice. What else? Joyce, the name, good. Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce, right? What else? That's all I have actually. And then um, let's do Z. What do we have for Z? With Z, we have an advantage because we can count what kinds of words? Plurals. Plurals. plural. She's a Z, the fine. What do you have for Z? Everybody just shout out what you have. Uh, we're doing ao now. For a, it, we could go back to a. What are we doing with, with Z? Do we have anything with u? Do we have anything with u? No, nothing with u. Let's do awe since you mentioned it. Cause, pause, what else? Flaws, and Laws. Laws. 
What else? Claws, 爪子 Jaws, 下颚 What else? Straws, 吸管 And that's about all I have. Jaws, jaws, yeah, jaws, jaws, jaws. The 那个吃的那种呃，字叫什么？你们中国人有鼻烟，对不对？我们有一个烟是可以吃的，可以嚼的，像嚼槟榔一样。That's a chaw of tobacco. Chaw, C H A W. 有这个字，就是刚好是可以放进嘴里去嚼的一种烟草。Okay, a chaw. It's from chew. It is 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 from chew. What else? Dows, that's dows, that's dows. 可是 dows 的所有格是 dows， 那可以，这是专有名词。嗯 ，rouse 是激起。And sows 很多母猪。Wows 很多的 wow。Yows 很多的 yow。Okay, that's about all I have. And then,、um, how about K and G? K, what do we have? Anything with U? Book. What else? Cook. Brook. What else? Took. Nook. Gook. Yeah, yo. Gin goop is the same as the word gook. A lot of gook. Uh huh. Hook. Goat. Rook. 是骗人。What else? Shook, shook, shake 的过去式。What else? Okay, I think that'll do for u.、Uh. What do we have for a?、Uh? Ah,、uh, 还没讲对不对？啊、uh, ，Okay, we have what? Talk. Hey,、okay. nobody has a.、Uh. Gawk, talk, cock, cock is 用细胶去去去封那个浴缸之类的 C A U L K, cock. And that's about all I have for auk. Okay, and how about auk? Anything with auk? 有没有 Nothing. How about for oik? Nothing. 只有那个，嗯，这个这个 lap 那个拉普族，他们那个有一种唱法叫 yoking， 可是那是外来语。All right, G. Anything for G? Ug. Anything with ug? No. How about for og? Log, bog, cog. No. That's cog. Log, bog. What else? Fog. Woo. Frog, 青蛙 dog, tog. What else? Smog is good. Log, fog. Clog, that's clogs. Clogs. He wears clogs. Okay. Clog, slog. Okay. That that'll do for for g. And how about for aug? Do we have anything aug? Your mail. Anything with aug? No. Anything with oig? No. Okay, take a break. Take a break. Okay, we need to continue. We want to finish because the class is almost over. Okay, everybody. Okay, sorry to keep you so long first hour. I just really had hoped we could finish, but I guess not. And IPA will be our subject next time. We just really don't have the time. We're barely going to finish this. I don't think we can even do the performance exercises. But I really want to finish the written exercises.、Um, Okay, so we're looking at the transcriptions. Help me because I have blind spots when I'm at the board, especially, especially many blind spots. I have them anyway. Okay, so I've called 
several. How about stresses? Zhongyi, this is way. OK, stresses. I've called several. Uh, these should be straight, by the way. Sorry. I've called several times, but never found you there. And R, R, make it a little more like this. All right? Yeah, how about, yeah. That's right. Do we say several? No, he didn't say several. He said several. And they got R. OK. I've called several times, but never found you there. All right, if I'm missing anything, stop me right away, because we have to finish. Uh, I've, yes? Uh, I think the vowel and the bus is the That's good. If we made it clear, it could be this one, but it should be this one. You're right. Good. Anything else? All right. I've, I've called several. Did he say several or several? Let's go back to Peter. How many syllables? Two. So don't use, try to get over your prejudices. You know, something that you know is often much harder to transcribe than something you've never heard before. So when I was hearing those strange languages and doing transcriptions, I probably did a better job than I would do even with British because American gets in the way. And for you, your Taiwan English will get in the way. I've, call, I've called several times, but never found you there. OK. Yes? You're probably right. Let's go. Let's listen again. Did he say Jew? No, he didn't, but Peter did. OK. So we should put a j here. Found you there. All right, let's keep going, otherwise we're not going to finish. Question? What did you hear? He probably is, it's, it's z with voicelessness at the end. Times, let's, if you want to be. It's probably mostly voiceless. It's probably moist, mostly voiceless. And I have a problem with my own prejudices because I believe it should be z. So sometimes I can't tell you if it's mostly z or z because it must be z in my mind. Um, the longer vowel tells us that it's z times. He probably said there's a bit of a z and the rest is voiceless. I would stick with the z myself. But that may be my prejudices. Let's hurry and finish, please. Um, if you find things, they'll stop me and please tell me. And here, stresses. Always remember to put in the stresses. And this is American someone. Someone. Somewhere wants a letter from you. Someone somewhere wants a letter from you. This is probably the stress. All right, British? Someone, somewhere, wants a letter from you. OK? Three. Um, let's start with, are we starting with American? We were away a year ago. Which did he stress? We were away a year ago. There's, there's stress on go. We were. There's probably stress on we, too. We were away. This is the tonic stress. I didn't ask you to put tonic. We were away a year ago. OK, anything else? British? We were. Is there an R there? Yes. Why? The, the next word is to the vowel. So we have we were away. We were away a year ago. We were away a year ago. A year ago. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I hear a R, an R there. A year ago. And there should be an R there. That's right. And we just listened to it. We're going to have to finish before break. Sorry. It's all on the board. We were away a year ago. Uh, this one. We were away. Tonic. A year ago. OK. Anything else? Stop me. We all heard. Is there stress there or not? Did you hear stress? We all heard a yellow lion roar. How do we write roar? The way we usually write it is this way. 
drawer. Rower. This would be rower, and I don't think he said that. We all heard a yellow lion roar. Let's listen to Bruce say it. There may be a little bit of an off glide there, roar. But I don't think it's necessary. Yeah. Right, right. And all. Right, we use ah, but the L is going to change it. That's right. And heard, yes, we're going to use the stressed version. Okay, actually, this should be written also with the same kind of hook as like this. Because we're using 习惯. This is a Taiwan KK to get 习惯. Okay? We all heard a yellow lion. Yeah, this is okay. Roar. And the British. We all heard a yellow. We all heard a yellow lion. Probably should be a schwa there. Lion roar. Are they going to have an R here? No. No. It's just going to be roll. Okay, just like raw. Sheng de. We. So, we all. Let's listen. We all heard. We all heard a yellow, yellow lion roar. All right, I'm not stressed. Next one. What did you say before that, American? What did, did he say Jew or you? Say before that. What did you say before that? What did you what did you say before that? Looks okay to me now. Uh, British, what did you say before that? Before that, let's see how he says it. What, what did you say before that? Okay? And this shouldn't be I, it's B. He said B before that. Um, are we okay? Six, never kill a snake with your bare hands. Upside down R, please. Okay, so never kill a snake with your bare hands. Anything to, uh, how about this? Is it S or Z? And is it with or with? I showed us a with. Should have put her home. With. With your bear. We want an R here for British? Oh, this is me. Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't make what you. Uh huh. Never kill a snake with your. With your. With your. Your. Bear. Not bear. This is English now. British English. Bear. Hands. Never kill a snake. With your bare, uh -huh. bare hands. Uh huh. Okay. Seven. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. You don't put it on top. You put it to the side above it. It's male stress. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. Easy to tell? Mm -hmm. Let's put a tap there. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. Okay? And English, British, British English? It's easy to, uh, British, it's no stress. This is just a bracket. It's easy to tell, tail, tell the depth of a well. Okay? It's easy to tell the depth of a well. This looks okay to me now. Anybody see anything else? Um, eight. Um, American. I enjoy. Tasha, this is in ma. I enjoy the simple life. It does actually sound like i. I say I enjoy. I have more of a schwa. He has more of an i. So I enjoy, I enjoy the simple life. 
Tonic was here. I enjoy the simple life. Okay, and then British, he has a different emphasis here. I enjoy the simple life. Oh, he has actually the two. I enjoy the simple. And he does say simple. There's no schwa there. Life. I enjoy the simple life. Okay, anybody catch anything I missed? By the way, this is a line here. Okay, not a dot. It's a line. Different from KK. Any questions? Um, let's just answer very quickly letter G. What is the answer to letter G? This one's easy, just two short answers. Which vowel occurs before the smallest number of consonants? It's U, isn't it? Not OI, it's U. U is a really weird vowel with a very limited distribution. So understand that that may be in the final. It has a very limited distribution, phonotactically. And what class of consonants occurs after the largest number of vowels? Louder? Alveolars. Alveolars, that's right. As for the next page, all I really wanted you to do is put in the vowels in the vowel space in American English. That's good enough. Okay. For British, you can look at the table, but we're working mainly with American. If you've got that down, you know how to do that. That's good enough. So we have one class left. You need to hand in your notes next time. You also need to include in your notes what? <coughs> what do you need to include in your notes? Pages what? 23 and 24 about odd syllable types and then games. Play the games. Have some fun over New Year's. You end on that New Year's. And you also need to have your IPA ready. I don't mind if you compare notes, if you check with each other. Um, I want you to do a good job so we can save as much time as possible. It's going to probably take the whole class. Um, also include missing items in your notes, items that were missing from previous notes. Make sure that you've checked all the notes of the TAs. If they said this is missing, put it in the notes for next week. I think that's everything on my list. Okay, that's it. And then I asked you what? No, that's finals week. Hey, Jean, it's finals week, ma. Yijing finals week, Yijing kai shi ma. Dui, qi hao shi xing qi yi. That's finals week. We don't have class on finals week. So we have one class left, the second. On the ninth. On the ninth. If you want me to go over it again. Okay, final exam is on January 9th from 1.20 to 3.10, the usual class time in this room. January 9th is a Wednesday. January 7th is a Monday. We do not have class. That's finals week. We don't have class in finals week. Our last class is on January 2nd, the day after New Year's vacation. We're mainly going to be working on Chinese and IPA. Okay, any other questions about what we're doing? Think more about the question of Chinese being syllable, syllable timed or stress timed. Start listening carefully to Chinese as you speak it and as the people around you speak it, see if you can start noticing these things. And there are a couple other interesting things that Amy was telling me about. She says it's very popular now, besides nu, somebody noticed that nu is now very popular as an intensifier, right? And also, uh, Amy says that rong is getting popular as a monosyllable. You can confirm. Also, shh. when my daughter was in high school, she's about she's about six, seven, six or seven years older than you. When she, yeah, about six years older than you. So about six years, six, seven years, eight years ago, Amy tells me it's not popular anymore. Is that true? No, it's not popular. You don't say yes because you will confuse me. If you say yes, it's not popular. <laughs> no, it's not popular anymore. So that's a way of creating slang in Mandarin. You play around with how many syllables a word has. 
你切成一个音节，它就变成一个俚语，对不对？了不了，那后来变容不容这样子。OK， that's it. Please come prepared for your last day of class. Working mainly on IPA and work hard on your notes and have a very happy new year.